right, so uh, I'm going to do a little video on this. Uh, this is a spear that I got off of one of uh, those boxes you do a subscription for. I believe I got this one off a of crate club. Um, that's their insignia there. So it comes in this little case, comes with the 550 cord. Uh, I'm not going to use this 550 cord, I'm going to use some that I already have. Um, but basically, it comes off. You have these two pieces, you have your 550 cord, all that plastic stuff's the holder. And then you can either make the spear with this. <clears throat> um, so this goes on the end of the stick, and then these grooves, uh, you wrap the 550 cord around it, and you have a single spear like that. Or you can do a double one. So if you like fishing or whatever, that way you have a double spear. So right now I got um, my sticks here. Got my twigs. Uh, right now I'm gonna limb them up and then get it cut to size, the size I need, and then go into making it. So I have here my Transferred Burks Sweden. It's a nice little, nice little axe that my dad got me. This thing worked off. Right here, I'm just gonna uh, shorten it up a bit. I'm gonna make two of them. I'm gonna make a long one and a short one. So I want these fairly straight. So right there is gonna be where I want to cut this one up. All right. So that's one, and I'll prep these edges just a little bit better. All right. Now the next one, I want this one to be a little bit longer. So I think I want to do probably call it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here. So I'm gonna cut it there. I love this little Gerber saw. This thing's awesome. Comes with the blade change and everything. Now, the good thing with these, it does have that sharp edge here. So realistically, if you just got it there and then you had a stick to pound this down with, you wouldn't really have to make a notch in here. But if, that would probably work with the big one, but since this one is so skinny, I'm afraid that when I start hammering in, it's just gonna split it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a notch for it to actually fit in. Um, so you just center your saw up and make your notch. All right, so I notched it down enough that I think if I hand it, uh, pound it in the rest of the way, it's not gonna split. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Now I'm gonna wrap the 550 cord around and see how it goes. All right, so that first wrap didn't work. Um, so what I did here on the top, um, I fashioned a uh, bowline knot and then I fed it through and then hitched it on itself and that brought the top tighter. And then from there I just wrapped it down and then uh, finished it off tying it to itself down here and then this knot will keep it from going that way. So here is the test. Um, just gonna throw it in dirt, honestly. Can't think of anything at the moment. Not bad. Let's see if I can set up a target and see if we can hit it. All right, so I set up a little target. That's just some foam insulation that we had left over, drew a target on it. Now I'm gonna throw.
Got it. That's got some pretty good penetration power too. So that one went pretty well. Um, stayed on tight, still secure in there. Um, throwing it was a lot. Uh, it was a lot of weight, top heavy. So, I mean, it says on the thing, do do not throw, anyways. <laughs> so, I mean, that's up to you. I would throw it if I if I was down and out and I needed to, you know, get a rabbit or something or whatever or whatever it happened to be. I'd throw it definitely. Um, but I would use a bigger stick. So I'm going to go ahead with this guy and I'm going to do the double prong. So I'm going to put the second one in there as well. All right. So on this one, I think it's thick enough that I can go in and it even says on the directions that you use this to split it itself. That way, if you don't have a saw, Go ahead and get it started. Let's see, already got a natural split in the wood, so I'm going to go with that one. <clears throat> to put these together, locks in there. There's two ways you can do it. You can try and just 550 cord these these prongs so it keeps it in there around these grooves, or you split the wood into fours. So instead of half just for the one, you split it in fours so you have a piece right in here, a piece right in there, and then you wrap it. That's what I'm going to try and do right now. So I'm going to take this out, rotate it so it's 90 degrees offset, and then hammer it in. So you see here, I have it hammered into fours. So now what I'm running into is I got to get that gap open to accept that. Um, while you're out in the bush, I mean, you can use rocks, you can use pretty much whatever you can find. Me, I'm just going to go ahead, stick my axe head in there and get it started. Mm. Oh. It'd probably help if that was split all the way too. There we go. Okay. So that side is good. There we go. Okay. Now I got them both in. Hammer them in place. You go now i'm gonna 550 cord around it and cinch it down all right so <clears throat> i didn't show you last time um on that one but the way i fix it tied a bowline and then from there i'm gonna take it i'm gonna thread it through and then i'll cinch it down and then i'll wrap it okay so oh, let's get the stick where you can see it all right so again this is how i do it there's many different ways to do it i'm sure there's a proper way you're supposed to do it but I just took that bow line here. Let's hope this. Took that bow line and then I'm gonna pull back on it and that's gonna cinch it down. Now I'm gonna cinch it down around the top here inside the grooves of that. So there we go. You get it nice and tight, and then you start your wrap. So see how there's gap here? It's because I went into those grooves and now down here I'm wrapping it tight. That way the 
550 cord itself can't move. Those grooves will keep it from moving up and down, but the 550 cord here itself will keep it moving from down. How I think I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take this line that's coming up from the bottom. So that will pull these up. And I think I'm gonna thread it through one of these eyelets and then tie off there. I think that'll work. All right, so I just tied it off through that eyelet. Uh, this will pull it up. That'll keep these from sliding. So, if you didn't catch that, one, it, I mean, it went right through the thing, just broke in half. But two, it hit the steel uh, fire pit and it threw sparks. Hey, there's another way to start a fire. All right, so this next one, I'm gonna see if I can get it to actually stick into the end of this wood. It's got a lot of weight behind it. it I think it hurt somebody. Oh yeah. I mean, I was pretty close, but still. I mean, that's pretty good. Go back just a little bit farther. You got one of these. Oh, <laughs> that went in like an inch, inch and a half. One more. All right, so that was a lot of fun. Um, that was actually a pretty fun video. I like doing that. Um, anyways, yeah, thing works pretty great. Um, so, disclaimer, it's actually not supposed to be thrown. Um, it literally says on it, do not throw. Um, two reasons for that. One, it's supposed to be a spearfish. Um, so you're just supposed to be spearfishing with it, you know, either underwater or above water. Secondly, every time this hits something, it's driving the splitting portion of this down the shaft even farther. Now, if you have it lashed very well, or say, um, say you actually cut the notches in with a saw, a bandsaw, whatever you want to do, or you get um, some type of, or, or, or you could do four different sticks um, and then lash the four different sticks together. That's one way you could do it. That's probably what I would do in a survival situation is that way I'm not trying to hammer this up and split it. I'd probably just take four decent uh, hardwood sticks and put them in each spot and then lash it down or two at most uh, for just the single blade. Um, but yeah, so your lashing has to be good enough to keep from the pressure of this hitting the ground from going there. So that way, you know, you throw it, you miss whatever you're hit, uh, trying to hunt, say it's rabbit, javelina, you know, whatever you're trying to do. Um, you might end up splitting your stick and that's the only stick or you just spent, you know, two hours of your time and all your calories uh, that you burn trying to uh, fashion this together and on the first throw it ruins it. Um, so that's one of the reasons why you don't throw this thing, but it is also really fun. And you saw how hard it was hitting the log itself. Now, that's not dry. That is a wet log, all right? So that thing was just, boom, stabbing in there. I mean, you know, the oh, the foam insulation, you know, and I could throw my hatchet at it and it's gonna stick. You know? uh, but yeah, this thing was really cool. I hope you guys liked the video. I'm gonna do, uh, probably do a few more of those. Maybe I'll throw, uh, I have a couple different hatches. Maybe I'll do a throwing one there. Um, but, um, Hopefully this weekend I'm going to do my first uh, primitive shelter video. Um, probably going to do a lean-to debris hut or instead of debris I'll run a tarp. Uh, stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.